uh, Brendan Belt's a really interesting ad for the Blue Jays, and you know this is uh, gives them another left-handed impact bat that can do some damage, especially if you're getting the say 2020, 21 version of Brandon Belt. You know, last year he was limited by some knee issues and he wasn't the same guy. You assume that if he's healthy, he's going to be productive. Uh, you know, in the role that. I'm guessing right now he's going to be in where he's the guy who spells Vladimir Guerrero Jr. on occasion at first base, but is also getting a lot of uh, at bats, a designated hitter and coming off the bench. You know, maybe that's a, a good way for him to not have too much burden on that knee as he's returning from it, allow him to get sort of stronger as the season progresses and, you know, find that health, find that swing. Uh, and look, he, he's been a really productive guy. And the Blue Jays, as they were constituted, they had certainly tightened up really defensively before they'd added Brandon Belt. But they you were kind of looking belt. at it saying, <laughs> okay, Sorry. exactly. But they, they <laughs> there was still a little bit of offense that they had lost from last year. You know, right. like you lose to Oscar Hernandez. I mean, that, that's a tough bat to replace. Uh, now with Brandon Belt in the mix, you know, you, you're starting to see, okay, well, that's going to help overcome some of that. And then with the added defense, you know, the, there's probably looking at a better hole. Where does he get his at bat, Shy? I think like largely at DH and and like I said, I think you know spelling Vladimir Guerrero Jr. a fair bit. And look, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. has posted really well for this team, but maybe giving him a little bit more rest or at least giving him more days at DH, you know, that's probably going to be better for him in in the long term. And maybe if you're not relying so much on Alejandro Kirk and Danny Jansen at DH and, you know, giving them a little bit of rest on days mm -hmm. when they're not playing. Maybe that helps them be better offensive players too. And, you know, it's sort of helping in their recovery, especially when, you know, we're really considering now how much of a burden, you know, the catching position really places on guys, especially with how much emphasis there is on helping the pitchers and being so there for the pitchers. So I, I think that combination is, is probably helpful. And, and look, you know, you, you don't want to think this way, but in the event that something happens to Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and he has to miss a significant period of time, you now got a, a more capable replacement at first base and someone that you're like, okay, I don't mind giving this guy significant at bats. He he's going to be able to help us. And you know, that that's something that the Blue Jays haven't had. I mean, you look at the way their their bench is shaping up right now. Mm -hmm. This is a bench with a lot of guys that you don't mind playing. And that's that's something the Blue Jays have not had in a long time.